hello everyone hope all is well just checking in to see how everyone's doing um hope you've been following me and the recordings that i've been doing uh, this has been so good it's just been good fellowship in this way you know i just love service myself um you know with everything going on the churches are not active as they were before the pandemic but i got a word that i want to share with you all today um uh, if you if you don't have a church home you know we know that church is in our heart you know if you believe and you confess that jesus is lord and that god sent jesus to die for us in our sin if you believe that in your heart then you are saved you don't necessarily have to go to a church to believe in God. I don't want you to think that's what I'm saying here, but for me, like I said, service was great. It's the first Sunday of the month. You do know on first Sundays, uh, churches, the, the, the Baptist, um, the thing we do is join together and have communion. Well, we also will celebrate my church 115th anniversary and it was a good thing. It was just great to be in the house of the Lord. I just love it. Uh, so whatever works for you, if you do not have a church home and you seek in one, you know, just ask God, you know, to, to direct you to the right church for you, because it's good to be able to be as one and into fellowship with one another. It felt really good, you know, just to have, uh, just to be amongst other believers. And that's what I'm trying to build here on this platform. Even if you don't have a church home, that you can look forward to these lessons and you may have never opened up your Bible before, you know, not judging that. But as you listen to me and we get to know them together, you can kind of, you know, this will make you want to go and get more of it. Because believe me, there is a blessing waiting on you in the Lord's house. When you get amongst other believers, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. You know, I grew up in the church. That's all I know how to do is on Sunday mornings to get up and go to church. Pandemic or not, we went to church. I mean, so to each his own, but I hope I can be that church for you. Let's go. We're going to talk briefly about what are you asking God for today? If you go with me to Isaiah 42 verse eight okay it talks about i am the lord that is my name i will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols see the former things has taken place and new things i declare before they spring into being announced i will announce them to you and that was in isaiah 42 Verse eight and nine. What are you asking God for today? I, I, you know, we have, we go to God with so much. We have so many petition and prayer and requests, but one thing about it, God knows what he's doing. And it says it at nine, that the form of things has taken place. The things before has, and the things of the past, it has already happened. He's getting ready to do something new in your life today. So just think about it. If you had one thing to ask him for today, what would that be? In 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 1, read it when you get a chance. It talks about God's servants, David. David was a man of God, and he was after God's own heart, just like many other, other words in the Bible. But David, he wanted wisdom now you may say why would you ask god for that out of all the things you can ask god for why wisdom that's what david needed he wanted wisdom it's because of what god had gave him to do god had gave him a task and that task was to build his temple to build his church and if you go to second chronicle and read the whole chapter one it talks about how david is going to build this temple and he asked God for wisdom in order to do that. That is a lot to ask a person. You'll be surprised at the things that God will ask you to do. 
and you'll say, well, God, I can't do that. You know, I'm going to need some help. That's where that wisdom come in at. So what are you asking God for today? Is it strength? Do you need him to help you through some difficult times? Do you need some, some motivation? Do you need, do you need wisdom and knowledge? Do you need um, some comfort? Whatever you need, you can go to him and you can ask him for it and he will give it to you. I want wisdom. Because I feel that what I'm doing here requires a lot of wisdom. We're doing this together, but I want God to give me that wisdom I need to be able to speak to his people and to say what people needs to hear in these times. I just don't want to be just doing something. I need God to help me. So that is one of my requests today. Lord, just give me wisdom. Just tell me what to say. Show me what to say. Even when I'm do not know what to say. Tell me. Lead the way. Send me to the right scripture for your people. Going to church for me, back to going to church. Like I said, it's 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 a it's a it's a matter of opinion. If that's what you want to do, or if not, it, it, you won't be judged either way. Because God have a, a heavenly place for us all. And when that time comes, we all gonna be in one big happy place place rejoicing in him and i hope to see you there i'm working trying to get there myself but going to church for me gives me so much it gives me that energy i need it gives me that that wisdom i need that word gives me the strength that i need it may be something that i needed to hear like like i said a lot of people strayed straight away from the church because of the covid but but that's where we need to go. We need to fall back into the Lord's house. We need to fall in his house. If you don't have a church home, like I said, just pray and ask God to send you to the right church home so you can get the right teaching for you. But his temple was, he built this temple for us to congregate and for us to get together. So I'm speaking on behalf of all the churches today. They need you. They need you. They have a word for you. Find out what that is. And in order to do that, if you've never even been to church, just, just make it a point to go, you know, and, and, and get what it is that you need because they can help you when it comes to this word. They can lead you to the right scriptures for the things that may be going on with you at the time. But again, I want to be there for you also. So I have to ask God for wisdom and strength daily so I can come to his people like he would like me to and say the right things that I need to say. So I just wanted to just say that today. Um, just what are you asking God for? What do you need from him? He can, he, he will be all that for you because these former things that we got going on, they are really passing away and a new thing is getting ready to set in and you want to be planted and you want to be ready for whatever that new thing may be. So I love you and I just, I hope that your day is, is con your day continue to be good. I hope it's blessed and you be safe until next time. Please share this video with anyone that you may think need a word, share, support, subscribe to the Rich and Faith TV platform. There is where you will see me uh, once, maybe twice a week. You can go back to the, the videos that we uh, recorded uh, earlier. And I guarantee you that there's something in there that will bless your life. Thank you for listening and you have a blessed day.